with a sense of urgency, you must follow the public health directions so that we can turn this trend around. That's Dr. Jennifer Russell speaking at a COVID-19 briefing just over an hour ago. Premier Blaine Higgs also spoke. So you turn around, uh, it's so, I find it so strange. Uh, people are so weird. Uh, they turn around, they, uh, They're, they're having protests in Vancouver, or they had protests in Vancouver and Toronto. Uh, thousands, hundreds, hundreds or a thousand people showed up demanding that we have the right to go around with no masks. And we have the right to go around with no masks. The problem is, and there's a lot of Canadians that follows too much American politics. They know more about American politics than they know about their own. And you have, you know, like uh, they say freedom of speech. Uh, the First Amendment is the First Amendment. We have a law. We got freedom of speech. I'm sorry. There's a Canadian constitution, and it's not the American one. We don't have freedom of speech, number one, here in Canada. We don't have freedom of expression here in Canada. We don't. Uh, look what happened to me. The Reno, they shut down the blog, and they, uh, that's the way it is. It, only the elite has the freedom of expression or freedom of speech. Uh, New Brunswick, we have no rights. And we're going to get into that more the next few weeks or months on a series about the Fredericton Police and the New Brunswick justice system and public safety. Uh, I already did a 14-part series. I sent it to, I'll, I'll explain more. And uh, it's sad. It's very, very, very sad. So, we are not Americans, we are Canadians. And, you know, like Black Lives Matter. Yes, Black Lives Matter. I still don't understand why in Fredericton suddenly we have people that's been here in Canada for maybe three, four, five years and they're protesting and saying Black Lives Matter. I said it before, it would be nice to see blacks that's been here, born here. Then, you know, then you could really listen to the stories. But I think what happens there is just like Frederick from Congo. Remember the activist? Well, 10 years ago, he went on a hunger strike. Uh, the government, I got involved in that. And the government, they told me it was David Albert crew. The family was, they really weren't concerned about Frederick. They were more concerned about jobs. They couldn't get jobs. They couldn't get jobs. And everybody's talking about Native Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. But nobody's talking about the person, the poor person, white person that's on welfare, or the Native person on welfare or whatever and the justice system. Many are in jail because they had no rights to a lawyer. They were forced to plead guilty and we know the rest of the story. Boy, look at that. So that's what this is all about. It's all full of shit. Boy, that's a big one. Maybe uh, that's going to, to Fredericton. Who knows?